I'm too nervous to talk, Tom. You talk. <laughs> oh, listen, I'll tell you. I love doing these kind of games, but uh, they're boy, up. It sure be nice to come out on the winning side of one, wouldn't it? Yeah, it sure would. Big, big play. Come All on, right. though. Todd Brown is the split end of the top of the screen. Quinn asking the home crowd for quite an against it now, obviously. Roger Quaig now in a slot position. First and goal at the three. Quinn rolling left, looking into the end zone. It is complete, but down to the two. Incomplete. Down to no incomplete. They call it incomplete. All right. Uh, Steels thought he caught that ball, but the official says no. But that does really, that's stop a the break. clock. That's a break for Nebraska. That's right. That does stop the clock at 17 seconds. So we're going to have another look at it as Quinn rolls to his left, and good pressure by Porowski, and. Uh, he just couldn't haul it in there. If he had, he'd have been at the one. Second down, but the downs really aren't important. Second to go at the three. 17 seconds. That's the important thing. No timeouts, remember, for Nebraska. Ball still on the three. Quinn rolling to the left. He's got the time. He's now under a rush. Porowski's got a fumble. Fumble. Florida State's going to win this football game. They've got the ball. Florida State. And they're going, wow. Florida State will upset the third rank. Soon, or as third ranked Cornhuskers in Nebraska. I even forget what state I'm in here. <laughs> and you know who the man was that pulled him loose from that ball? Mr. Paul. Bersky, I got to shake that man's hand at the end of the game. How about this, huh? How about it? I tell you, I want to see up tonight with some partying. And I want to tell you right now, before I forget it, the Seminole team's going to be in at 9 30. I want to see that airport crowded. That's a Texas International Charter, right, Jim? That's right. The they Charter. Need they leave here at 6 o'clock. They get there at 9.30. I want to see a traffic jam at that airport like you've never had before. The Seminoles, stock still lays down. Nebraska has no timeouts. The clock running down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The game is over. And the Seminoles have won the biggest football victory in Florida State history. Look at Ricky Stockstill. He's got the ball. And here comes Childers over, and the Seminoles are mobbing him. The final score from Lincoln, Nebraska is Florida State 18. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska 14 will be back in a moment. The Nebraska Cornhuskers have gone down to defeat this afternoon in Lincoln, Nebraska. The 108th consecutive sellout still standing, Jim, in stunned silence as the Seminoles of Florida State shut them down in the second half, came up with 15 points of their own, 18 to 14. How about running down the scoring plays in the game for us? All right, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at some replays on the scoring plays. Well, we're gonna replay uh, that fumble by Quinn. All right, the route. All right, yes, that's what we're gonna see. The fumble, the last offensive play of the game for Nebraska, as uh, Quinn is rolling out, and here comes Paul Porowski. He grabs him by the shoulder pad, pulls him loose from the ball, and there's Gary Futch yep. falling out at. And uh, that wrapped it up for all intents and purposes. Now we go down the scoring plays as the Nebraska band serenades. A disappointed crowd out of the stadium. Well, the Florida State Seminoles shut out the highest powered offensive unit in the nation in the second half. They got no points. They were number three in the nation, I believe. And we go out there to play them. We just lost the week before. And so we were gonna get we were gonna get clobbered that day. Brian pitch back comes to Brian. Little hole, that goes score! Touchdown, Florida State. I don't ever remember feeling that they were going to score on us, feeling that the game was at hand and they were they were fixing to beat us. I never at once can remember feeling that we were going to lose that football game. And Roger Quigg, he's going to roll toward his right side. Borowski, Borowski's going to trap him. He loses the football. The Seminoles are going to fall on it. Florida State's come up with it. They own the football in the ball game. Right. Seminoles recover the twin fumble. Borowski. I always felt like you know, that was our greatest win away from home. At that, no, no, back in those days, Nobody beat Nebraska there, even Oklahoma. On a marvelous Midwestern Saturday afternoon, a Southern school with no national reputation took on the third-ranked and 3 and 0 Nebraska Cornhuskers. A 44-point-a-game scoring machine, a team playing for a national title, and a team with a true Heisman Trophy candidate in Jarvis Redwine. The 108th straight sellout of Nebraska faithful greeted the Seminoles with their traditional sea of red. Number one, you saw people didn't go in Nebraska and beat them. I can remember Alabama going in there, Coach Bryant going in there with a lot of good ball because they couldn't beat them in Nebraska. I remember Notre Dame going in there, I think Notre Dame going in and couldn't beat them. I remember a lot of teams, you couldn't beat them there. They were so good. I don't think that our group as a whole, our football team, really knew just what we were getting into. 
we just knew that we were prepared to play as hard as we could and get after people and whatever happened, happened. The Cornhuskers built a comfortable 14 to three halftime lead on the strength of two picture perfect mirror drives. All FSU could muster in the first half offensively was a Bill Capice 32 yard field goal. Then the unthinkable happened. Nebraska got overconfident and provided FSU with the chances. My job was to cover both the outside and the uh, inside threat and let Monk slide over to cover the middle to the other side. And, and I went ahead and jumped the fly. I jumped the up pattern and uh, stepped in front of the ball, intercepted it, fell out of bounds. And, and uh, we went in to score on that next series. Then the defenses began to shine, making big play after big play. You gotta make some big plays. So every now and then you gotta take some calculated gambles. And we did that a couple of times, um, early in the second half especially, in uh, doing some things that quite frankly the coaches probably weren't real pleased that we did. We were convinced, especially on the defensive side of the ball, that we weren't going to be the part that got beat. We were going to do our part to win the ball game. The 40-yarder from Bill Capice gives FSU its first lead at 15-14. Another field goal, this one 41 yards, put the Tribe up by four at 18-14. The Knowles defense would have to come up big one last time if the 13-point underdogs were to hold on to this one. With Nebraska driving for an 11th hour reprise to save their quest for a national championship, the defense plays spoiler. I don't ever remember feeling that they were gonna score on us, feeling that the game was at hand and they were, they were fixing to beat us. I never at once can remember feeling that we were gonna lose that football game. Down goal to go. When the quarterback has Franklin. And Roger Quaig, he's going to roll toward his right side. Borowski. Borowski's going to trap him. He loses the football. The Seminoles are going to fall on it. Florida State's come up with it. They own the football and the ball game. Seminoles! Right. Saw him rolling, and so he went ahead and rushed him. And, and as he started to cock his arm to throw, Paul hit him, hit him in the shoulder pad, and the ball fell out of his hand. And Gary Futch, one of our defensive tackles, scrambled over there and dove on top of that ball. The Seminoles seized control of a game few gave them a chance to win by forcing four Nebraska turnovers and with Bill Capice chalking up 12 of the 18 points. Yeah, I was uh, real proud of that. Uh, I had four opportunities to go out there and I produced four times and we needed it. In a town where football is religion and talk is not of a Big A championship but rather of a national championship, a small southern school made a name for itself. That always go down in my book is not is maybe not necessarily my favorite win, but probably the most important win in Florida's state's modern day uh, history.